This morning, Tia is live at Ash's Restaurant in Spread Eagle, Wisconsin. And I know from the previous segment that those are goat cheese balls. <laughs> they look absolutely amazing, Tia. I'm going to need to see you take a bite and give your official review. <laughs> Oh, absolutely. I'm going to. I'm back with this. Sarah and Scott Ash, um, the owners of Ash's Restaurants. You can see we're back in the kitchen. I am going to taste these, but first, Scott, describe these to me. What am I in for? So what we have here is uh, fried goat cheese balls. These are our fa uh, most popular uh, appetizer on our mm -hmm. menu. Um, deep fried, uh, crusted in panko breadcrumbs, and then it's finished with some lightly dressed mixed greens and our house-made truffle honey. Okay, so... Uh Am I ready for the official taste test? Go for it. Get after it. Okay. <laughs> this is exactly what I love to have in a breakfast um, <laughs> at, what, 6 o'clock in the morning? Okay, I just want to show the inside of that. Look at that. Soft cheese, crispy, crunchy shell. That is exactly what I like in a fried cheese ball, you guys. You cannot go wrong with those. Uh, and every customer will tell you that. <laughs> mm, mm. That is so good with the truffle honey butter. Everybody wants more of that, of that, that truffle honey. They, that's the best part about it. This is a really healthy mix of sweet, salty, umami flavor. Yeah, absolutely. It, it, like, you know, like you said, it's our most popular appetizer. Everybody loves it. I can see why, why that would be a fan favorite. Now, Scott, what are you whipping up back here? Over here, we got some chicken marsala going, um, our most popular menu item for our entrees. Um, basically, what I'm trying to do here is get a little bit of color on it, and then uh, we'll flip it over, add our caramelized onions and mushrooms, and a little sweet marsala, and then we'll flambe that off and then finish it with a little heavy cream. Awesome. And you tell me all of your food here is made from scratch. Everything, Local ingredients, fresh ingredients. Everything is scratch cooked. That's a huge part of what sets us apart from everybody else. Um, we don't take a whole lot of shortcuts around here. We, I'm here every day. 12, 14 hours a day prepping. I've got a couple other staff members who help me as well. Um, they're a big part of my team. Um, shout out to Nick and Jackie. They're, they're my peeps. Uh, I've got to flip <laughs> this real quick. Oh yeah, here we go. Ooh. We're getting there now. Crispy crust, that's what I like to see. A little bit of caramelized onions. These are cooked for about five hours. And uh, it's a big part of why this chicken marsala is the best chicken marsala. Well, I cannot wait to get this out. I gotta step, 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 step away. I know you said flambe, but you could have gave me more of a warning. And then we'll just reduce that down. Alrighty, okay, I'm getting the wrap up signal, so I don't know that I'm gonna be able to try this on camera. However, I still need to try it. I'm going to post my official review on Facebook. As a reminder, you can stop by Ash's Restaurant Wednesday through Saturday. You can make a reservations for one of its wine dinners. I will post all of the information, plus my official, I guess it's going to be behind the scenes review of the chicken marsala now, um, to our website, UpperMichiganSource.com. But that's all I have here in Spread Eagle. And it's back to ladies in the studio. I'm going in for more cheese. <laughs> yeah, you enjoy that cheese. That flame was fantastic. Fantastic. Looks like he knows a little bit about what he's doing over there. That's Thank fancy. you so much.